I am what I can be, all-knowing, all-powerful, always flowing, ever-dynamic, ever-stringent. I am it, all that there is to see and all that there is to fathom, all that there is to come to terms with. Oh, you can see I am the silent stream, I am the ceaseless stream, always falling into all traps I put myself in that place, young of age. I remember trying to settle my spirit, a constantly moving page. I might try to describe myself against the world. Globes index dynamic, as worlds change, earth spins like a moving crater, moon tumbles downhill, earth is uncovered by a magic trick. Moon rabbits get born out of a hat of a salt red mage. And the windows open, and windows open, windows open. Through my windows I welcome thee, thee I welcome mother and broad. All of the universe could not forsake you. All of forever people in the plain fields of earth could not bear the fruits of the palm tree. All of the geese turning into bread for every single person's single vision. For any single person's dream. Any unclear waters or neighboring plains, any dark spaces, chains, unclear verse and spatial ascending scent, loving people standing in the lane, breadth, one who covers the earth without being covered itself. To what witness the day breaks, golden plains plays into the silver red uncovering fest of night. I am not ready to write this poem, yet this poem is ready to write me, contort myself into all the boxes of actions I have not assumed and I will not assume them. All I can assume is the elephant in the room, or the aspect of me, the dark swellness as the dark welcomes in tonight its great images, the night itself uncovers its beautiful old vest, a dress unworn in many years. Dresses but I do so condemn you putting years. me there, fucker, the box I did not claim that lies beyond my power, my sense or my vision, putting me into its arms of prison, staggering, not facing the night, but crying inside, inside its prison. prison. Maybe, Maybe I will, today. today. I will touch it with bare hands. May the room's only citizen of dream unwind their song and may it be tender and sweet. May the iron-clothed workers of cloud resistance, the ones unfound in written history, with their faces spell-binding, unwind before me, fist-clenching, empowered, stating images of the old and the new in wholesome villages, facing out of the old, out of the new, into the cold-out Oracle Bay, and simmer within me the human, not the client, and quiet and simple, sleeping within the trace of passing suns for many years. I do not know how to answer this, yet this answer is contained within the words I have spoken in dark and quiet places, waiting uncovered through ends and beginnings, through years of voiceless history, coming and going, becoming something else. I won't be contorted again, I won't be strangled anymore, I will stand by them day and night against the rest until all eyes come see me, or I am lost in the blinks of all eyes. But as of now, I am lost within thee, here and night. There is no will outside of this pale horse. It is all centered there in the middle. Things cannot be centered elsewhere. It is all a violent spread of skin like the only ominous voicing. I am behind you, but I am neither of you as would be natural than you could say. I am your front and your back, highs and lows. I wrote a handful of pages with this steep skin. I owed it many and all fears of mine. Mistakenly, I presumed I would miss them when I would lose contact with it. What happened was I lost my cause. There was no will outside the pale horse, only a handful of red berries, and that's that. The forest became quiet. Only in the night a few whispers were heard. Glimmers were seen by those prone to see, and few of them became certain. Few more remained and stayed there, just in case. The rest of the people were still dragging on to lost prospects. Shame. There's no will outside of the black canvas, you don't understand. If you, if you paved the way, few instincts came, but there's no will or wood outside of that. Keep safe, keep calm, and keep heated, they say. We might be able to manage something in a few years' time. Tonight there is only night, but night is late, and the dark is always irrational.
the sun coming up and down with it, traveling within. Now you have let your fingers loose a bit, your fingers touching human arms. Calmness might come to me, but still the mist remains untouched. The mist remains untouched. You have grown tired and weary of all the people living inside the boxes you mentioned. Not being able to recognize them. No glistening moment. No dark light of those that keep the room alight. A person alive. Religious. Not one at all. Not one at all. Maybe even no night at all. You grew tired and weary of ticking boxes, and your fingers grew cold. You sustained them through it, wearing warm shirts and trousers, singing through it, speakers and speakers endlessly eyeing each other in the night, black and dainty. I did not know of any levers to touch, though, and the night remained triggering. Dark, black, and dainty. Now your feet are as cold as ever. Your legs are shadows. I did not claim to know you, and I never would have claimed to. In the coldness of your body, hugging and caressing do not really matter. I and if you come up again pioneering in your black maritona spirit, please wear the suit of the elephant in my room. You will see it's coming off easier than it was expected. Hmm. Although it's murder and hard to touch, it will be the only wish I had. your voice. I do not know what happens when you stare at us. Damn. Silver skeleton. skeleton.